Hi everyone, Insert Edman here and welcome again to my YouTube channel. And in tonight's video is continuing the journey to turn 50 US dollars into a million dollars in the next two years, right? Um, as you see, it's another day that, you know, <clears throat> nothing much went on. As I said, I'm just trying to recover um, what I had. So there's... A, is just fees because when you're trading um every day then there's a like fees that is deducted for the length of time you have the trade open <clears throat> so is that necessarily a loss it will be recorded as a loss on the day the chart but not nothing not a real loss all right but i have been wondering all right because i i did a video yesterday because I was telling you that, you guys, that I am, I want to show you how to sign up for Binance. Now, I'm wondering if I should like, a topic like that, I do it separate and apart from the journey. I just show you what I'm doing on a trading part and then have a separate video that's how to sign up for Binance, for example. Um, I did this and I posted it yes, today. <clears throat> today 15 hours and um it's only five views but then two days ago this one did 65 views so i'm wondering if what when i speak about something else on the topic how to get how to get is getting more views than the others so i'm i'm wondering uh, so, I'm, so i'm just wondering if it is something that I should look into. Um, if I should, so, I'm just asking for your advice. What you think? Should I just be talking about the trading aspect in like just showing you my journey here, where I'm at with this, you know, and showing you like here these parts or should i be you know the the rest are uh, can i talk about other topics in the meantime so let me know um things is 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 basically okay i i, I was trying to short bitcoin here and start shot it the wrong place because there was so much opportunity to shot bitcoin earlier from it was in the 40 something that was the thinking about it and then when it went down to 41 that's when i started to shot so i shot it the end so it started to pump against me but <clears throat> um that's just part of the game i i may close this trade but Maybe I just dollar cost in average because I may be thinking, maybe pulling back at some time. So I'm just watching. I'm just watching there. And sometimes you want the market to pump against you. Alright. So I, I, I am just watching. Alright. I'm still okay with where I'm at. There is something that I've done that is not, you should not allow this happen. When your 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 margin ratio is in orange, right? That means that because if your margin ratio reach a hundred, you you get liquidated, right? Um, not so much worried about the liquidation, as I said, because uh, yes, this is what I do. So I always try for to have like a stop loss. So when I got liquidated the last time. I did, my stop loss wasn't in place so if it goes here i am cutting if it goes up to 30, 0 0.039 i'm you know cutting some losses there if it goes to 0 0.045 i'm cutting some losses there right um <clears throat> so at 0 0.0545 this 100 will be in green right so that is the reason why I I am cutting here when it goes up. 
right because i know it will pull back so i have things like these that i put in place so don't watch the the big minus you understand um because i i i, I, I have things in place i won't be liquidated <coughs> right you know that's the key is is ensure that you're not liquidated this is what um i didn't do when i got liquidated right i didn't put in stop losses and you're funny enough that you might go to sleep and you go and hit those stop loss and just come back down while you're sleeping the same way but you know all of those things you have to play put in mind <clears throat> all right but if it continue going down i'll be in good shape if it goes up i have the stop losses in in place for those for this um for this trade i am watching it because i still can't come out with a good profit because i think I don't believe that we are finished with the, the pullback as yet. I think the market is going to go down a bit more. But who to tell tomorrow is Monday morning and the, the market is waking up. So persons who who are going to trade the ETFs, um, they're going to wake up to a, a lower price. So they might start buying it up. So who to tell? Um, let We just have to watch and see how that plays out. All right, so guys, so... Let me know if if I should how I should title my videos. Help me to to see that. Um, should I change my thumbnail? Uh, is it just too monotonous? Because I see this, you know. Um, yeah, those things. I'm I'm trying to get a clearer vision on on what to do with this channel. Also, alright, guys. So thank you again for your time. Thank you for um, continuing watching my journey.